Yeah, we're the prodigy. Hi, this is Max Graham. Hi, this is Tom of Junkie XO. I'm Mark from MYNC Project. Hi, I'm Carl Cox. Hey, we're DJs are alive, and you're watching us on professionalrockstars.com. <laughs> <laughs>
the different styles of people, the different styles sure. of music. You know, there's so much out there for everybody to see. And it's a lifestyle site. You know, there's different people that want to go to different places. Not everybody could afford to go to Ibiza. Sure. You know, I mean, it's ten dollars for a bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. It's, uh, some 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 prices here are, are, are really are, are really high. It's also the biggest lineups and the biggest parties you can find probably uh, yeah. in Europe at that time. I've been hearing a lot of really great things about Greece, though. Have you played? Uh, yeah, I've played really a lot in Greece. A little less for the last uh, for the last years, but uh, I've played really a lot. And there, there are for sure there are really amazing cl clubs there. Mm -hmm. If you like that. What do you have Especially new? Good setups, you know, out outdoor stuff, crazy outdoor stuff. Yeah. Yeah. What What's new for you? What's What's the next thing coming out? Um, I, I I spent quite a lot of time DJing this year because I was promoting my album, yeah. uh, which is called Edenist. Okay. The next uh, year I will just you know it's it's like a cycle you know go back to more to the studio maybe a little less in the clubs, mm -hmm. and uh, work on so on some some new tracks, and uh, album projects stuff like that. Do you? License your music out for commercials, TV, movies, or um yeah, that can happen. Every you know, every proposal is always you know taken care of. You know, and we see uh, if uh, if it's if it's if there is a, a kind of logic, you know, in, in in it. Why not? You know, sometimes it's not. It was the reason why I ask is because um, there's been two things that I've been fascinated with. One of them has been. Um, outside of DJing, other ways to survive as a producer in the in the dance industry, you know, with downloads taking away from sales, rec vinyl sales not being what they used to be, you know, everyone downloading from Beatport and stuff. Um, how else do you, you know, are able to obtain your finance to survive outside of DJing? A lot of the DJs make so much of their money from DJing, they, they don't have to worry about it. But some of them ha are doing that, you know, licensing their music for a for sure, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, Every every source of income uh, that that are coming more for the, from the production, I think, is, is quite important now that, as you mentioned, the sales are going down uh, because not all the producers, even in dance music, are DJs. You right. know, and um, and and yes, yes, you got to pay attention to that. And I think we just need to find uh, to be a bit creative as well and to find some maybe new source of income that that could. Yeah, come. Why not from a corporate source? You know, mm -hmm. by doing some kind of partnership with a brand or something that that would do an exchange of creativity on one hand and maybe income on the other. I don't know. And uh, that there will come a time now when everyone uh, will just probably think about that and maybe probably invent a new a new business model for the for the for the industry. You know. I'm, I have to say I'm I'm not too worried about it because <laughs> no I mean you know people need music they need to dance they need to have fun and that's also what we provide um, and then the income is of course a lot less probably less big than than, than what it used to be but still okay still worth it so sure. okay. do you also uh, do you find that you put yourself in the studio more when you're making your music or do you uh, tend to use your laptop and make your beats while you're waiting in the airport? No, I'm 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 the studio guy. Yeah. Meaning that uh, I, for me, I need to concentrate, and it's sometimes for me out to be inspired when I'm traveling all the time, being very tired with all the flights and, and stuff, you know. So I prefer to yeah stick, stick around in the studio. Are you a musician? I I, I mean. Yeah. Uh, do you play a musical? Do you play musical instruments? I'm, I'm, my main instrument is voice. I'm I'm singing for a long time, and uh, good for the people. I don't use my voice for final cut, you know. <laughs> but I use my voice a lot to create music. Oh yeah. All to do all the demos, and then I, I play a little bit of keyboards. I of course do all my drum programmings and uh, and stuff. So I I'd say keyboards and and vocals. That's a little bit more than anyone else has given me an answer. Were you in the choir? Yeah, I was in a choir. Yeah. <laughs> so can you read? Can you actually read music? Yeah, I, I do, yeah. I, can, I, I read music, yeah. Oh, that's impressive. I was a jazz music minor okay. when I was in college, so I, I, end up, I don't do it anymore, but I uh, can look at the notes and understand what's going on. So you're going to go on 4 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. What time are you spinning till? Uh, apparently apparently now, now the club has a closing time. It's, it's pretty new. Uh, it's around 7. Oh, okay. Right, Just nice. to be open. 
all right. night and uh, well, now so it's gonna be four to seven. All right, so we got a hot three hour set coming your way. Cool. Cool. All right, everybody, this is Teddy hanging out with Martin. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah, this is great. And I'll talk to you, uh, we'll, we'll watch your set and we'll talk later on. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye.